you know, Dad, have you watched uh, Will and Evie in our video? Yeah, we watched that. We watched that. Tonight and tomorrow, yeah. Every day, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here, Cutler's Hall in Sheffield, UK. On stage with me is all of the fighters from DAZONE and Misfits, X-Series number two, and also the men behind it. Bro, I love that they keep giving this nigga away these opportunities. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's bangs every time. Oh, KSI, Kyle A. Sutherland, and Mams Taylor. KSI. Let's start with you, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Off of a two fights, one night, complete domination mm -hmm. in X Series number one. Now you put the promoter's hat on. Yeah, come on. And uh, or the, the glasses on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, uh, shout out to Pineda. This is in his honor. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, I thought I have a different look. Yeah. For uh, for the pr uh, promotion side of things, but yeah, I'm excited Boy, for the linen glasses uh, out. You know what Version man? two. Uh, we've got Nana. a huge card. Big Pink fight. Dewey. Got some uh, regulars and then some new people coming back. And uh, yeah, no, it's exciting. And uh, I think it's going to be a great, uh, great event. Talk to me about uh, some of your favorite fights here tonight. Mm. Uh, for me, it's got to be uh, Ryan Taylor and. Uh, and uh, Slim. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, why would you say that? What's, what's Bro, so you're so gassed that I didn't even mention your name, man. He's such a big. <laughs> such a big. Yeah, why did JJ say it like that? That's crazy. He kind of clowned him low key. Give me attention. Give me attention. <laughs> we well, yeah, obviously, that. between them, I know there's obviously previous beef uh, beforehand. And uh, obviously, Slim has shown that he is that guy knocking out temper. And uh, yeah, Ebu phase. <laughs> Come on. Ebu phase. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, um, that's going to be a huge fight. Obviously, it's good to see Joel back in the ring as well, JMX. Uh, I know he's going to do bits. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's good to see DTG as well. Uh, he looked very fast in the uh, workout. And uh, yeah. I didn't even know JMX was fighting. That was JMX? Hello, Ham, I, I imagine. They brought I him mean, in? You're always doing what you do. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> but it'll be a good fight anyway. And uh, yeah, obviously, Jay Swingler, the main guy, uh, the main event. And uh, obviously, yes, he lost to Gib, but he's come back oh, with man. a vengeance. <laughs> no, no, but it's, we got to be real. You lost the gift, but you, you've come back with a vengeance and you want to show everyone that you're on the same level as these guys. As this nigga JJB is straightforward as hell, bro. As the Slims, as the Gibbs. Wait! <laughs> you got one for looks and one for looking. Yes. So, yeah, I'm excited for this uh, whole event. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great. Callie, I want to go to you really quick. Um, what does it uh -oh. mean to not only put on this second event, but to do it here in Sheffield? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, for, no, first of all, we come from this huge premiere in London at the O2. Um, Big boss. You know, we wanted to make Money a statement. Um, it wasn't a one-off event. It wasn't, hey, Misfits is here today and gone tomorrow, and it's just for JJ to do a couple of fights in one night, break history, and, you know, Get into the history books. No, it's about a series. We're out with a ma How tall is this nigga? Jesus Christ. Massive card. Mams has done a fantastic uh, job on it, top to bottom. Personally, I'm loving that we got our first female fight on. Fantastic. Um, that's great. But the card has got so many storylines to it. I think the two gentlemen to my left are better Six equipped five? to go through those storylines but from a voyage we go from here still. great event in sheffield we go to austin texas november 17th next how month how big do you think his dick is Buster, chat Vito Belfort that shit got against be huge, Rathman, Jr. Right? and guess what the show goes on from there we're already just about on the cusp of announcing a massive 004 <laughs> for january nuts. I bet. keep your eyes I peeled bet. it's going to be <laughs> bigger than anything in this space before, and I mean anything. Mm -hmm. So, looking forward to Sheffield, but it's just part of the ride. And I, for one, you know, boxing's a lovely place to be, but this space makes is so much fun. The, the, the levels of excitement around it, the fresh faces, the people who want to be here, want to be doing this. I'm just blessed. Thank you.
Let's now go I to yell up there and I'd be like, get on with member. it. I would call him the Wrangler because he's rocking the cowboy hat today. Yeah, of this card, man, say talking about sticks. the importance <laughs> of not only the, the people on this card, but making sure each Misfits event has been just blockbuster. Well, um, I think every card is important. Every match is important because this is the space where we want to cultivate storylines and characters where you guys become more invested he got the double in, glasses in some of these again. guys from the smaller, uh, more le so less well-known people to the most well-known people. And that way, you know, this thing keeps going. And you guys, you guys keep demanding it and we'll keep supplying it for you. So these cards are all so important because it sets up the future. Who's going to... You know, who's going to fight the best of the best? Who's going to fight this Come guy on. and that guy? Talk that so shit, we just King. carry on cultivating these storylines. And I think, I think that's the importance of the consistency and the continuity of these things. Absolutely. And speaking of the consistency and continuity, let's move right into the card with our first fight on the night. Hello, Ham and DTG. Hello. Uh, Ham, I'll start with you. How are you doing, bastards? Yes, there it is. Um, first off, you're looking fresh. You're back in the scene. Talk to me about what it means to be a part of this card coming back to YouTube boxing and crossover boxing. Well, um, thank you, man. I'm looking fresh because I just had a haircut. Um, first of all, I just want to say my wife just got her visa, so uh, I'm so happy about that. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, really happy to, uh, I'm really happy to be back in boxing again. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck? What are you about to do to this nigga in fight night, bro? Who the? F I don't give a shit about your wife. Early on Not this year, I was diagnosed with a skin me? cancer called uh, DFSP, um, and I had my previous fight with it. And mentally, uh, training for that fight was the only thing to mentally keep me away from thinking about having cancer. Alhamdulillah, now I've, I'm now cancer-free. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, and yeah, man. Um, be, being able to fight again, uh, it just means the world to me because um, I, I'm not thinking about I, I'm, could, could I die or, or not anymore. And now like, I just feel great now to be able to have this opportunity to then be back to fight again. So, yeah, man, uh, thank you. And you still got to think about it. You've been going into the boxing ring. You ain't going to die from cancer, but you can still die from some fists now. That's crazy. You just replaced one death with another death. Before. Uh, Mams for having me on here. Thank you for for Liam to organize a fight and thank you for DTG for obviously uh, Agreeing to fight as well, man. So yeah, I feel great, man thank D you. DTG well, I want to come to you um, You know, you're fighting a guy Astrid with experience. Wet ones. We need right? to. Well, him obviously <laughs> already fought Salt Poppy before we really knew what Salt Poppy Let me was. Let some respect on my guy DTG real quick. this scene. But Let me see what he also about. has a win under his belt. Talk to me about what you're feeling, what you're thinking coming into this fight, how your training's been going. Um, yeah, obviously it's, um, it's different, you know. It's different from what I know. I'm an artist, I make music, I don't box. Um, so yeah, it's different. It's been interesting. Um, not having too much time to really prepare for my first fight. Oh, this nigga coming in talking like swarms. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Two months times enough, dude. Come on, man. You already knew it was coming. You knew you was about to put in the app. Come on, man. Um, but I've used my time very well. Come Got some on, very good trainers. Man. We got the Comiskeys. Um, and yeah, I feel like, obviously, it's natural to have nerves going into something that you're not really used to. It's natural, we're all human. But again, using my... Oh, niggas is going out like some bitches in this shit i'm already seeing where astrid at man here we go now we talking to keely huh i love it i love it i love it <laughs> let's go ahead and knock me out and you're the professional uh -oh. <laughs> that's confidence enough i'm in silk oh we was talking shit hold up and hold up hold up i think anthony taylor was talking so been shit face Dude. hold up now <laughs> Hold now on, making his way into the DAZN crossover boxing scene. Talk to me about the challenge ahead of you, and what do you think of Anthony Taylor? Yeah, he's had five professional fights, so he's obviously really experienced, and I know it's going to be a big challenge. But ultimately, I just look at him as the Internet's biggest troll. This is a guy that just goes online every single day, and all he ever says is, oh, let me fight KSI, let me fight Slim, let me fight Jake Paul. And it's like, bro, you're boring everyone. So oh, for up. me... 
my goal is to go in there and then just basically send him back to America and get him to stop trying to call out influencers and musicians, and he can go back to doing what he was doing before. AT, your response. It's been five months since I haven't had sex. I am sexually frustrated. <laughs> we established this. It's because I'm going to run through this man in the first round, guaranteed knockout or TKO. I ain't playing. I ain't playing with this dude. All right, cool. I'm, so let me let me let me make a way to you. If you don't knock me out in the first round, you go back to professional boxing and stop calling out influencers and musicians. <laughs> Tell me what you can do that Tommy can't do. That's got nothing to do with my. Tell me too. what you can do. Will you? Hey yo, what was Tommy doing? My boy just, was that the double hand glucky glucky? Tell me what you can do that Tommy can't do. That's got nothing to do with my Tell computer. me what you hey, can do. Will you yo, better than that? If you I don't, don't care. Not, if you don't know me out. If you rush me, I don't care if you try to run around. around I'm going to knock you out. Why are you dodging the question? And after I get you, I'm going to fight KSI in January. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Everything I do, y'all can laugh. Everything I do, I... This nigga is a warm-up fighter right now. He talking about fighting JJ in January? He not even on the main event. What is he talking about right now? I manifest every Bro, fucking I've thing told I do. You, I've got dreadlocks and I'm from Watford, but I'm the closest thing you're getting to KSI. <laughs> like, that is it. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, tell me this, Ashley. What can you do to hurt me? What can you do to hurt me? I can punch you in the face. Bro, I've been punched in the face with four ounce gloves. 10 ounce gloves, MMA, bro. I fought on Showtime. Now I'm fighting on the zone. I fought on the biggest networks there is. You've never been punched in the face like I'm gonna punch you in the face. No, because right. someone was don't, trying to punch me right. in the face. Don't I just move my head. Is a hard bastard, bro. bro. Be honest with you, bro. Oi, going, it's, it's a hard bastard, bro, bro. I'm gonna beat your ass in front of your family. Yeah. In front of your mom. Yeah, well, In luckily. front of your dad. Yeah, but guess what? In front what? of your kids. My mom was the first person to beat me, so where are we going from there? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going from there? <laughs> hey, at the end of the day. Hey, I like this nigga, man. I'm gonna beat you up. This nigga Anthony home, is kind of a thought. Make love to my girl and talk to Mams and see what we can arrange something else after that. How confident are you, scale of one to 10? The what? How confident are you, scale of one to 10? Shout out to my boy, Hasbulla. Ooh! What the fuck was that? Oh my God. They be loving these cringe compilations, boy. They just giving these, they giving these boys ammo. I'm comfortable uh, doing anything you want to do, bro. If you want to stand and bang, we can stand and bang. No, I'm asking you on a scale of one to ten. I don't know if I want to stand and bang a sexually you, frustrated man. Me. That sounds crazy. How comfortable, bro. Y'all already know why I'm here. I'm gonna run through this man like I run through condoms. Easy. What the fuck is going on right now? Oh, it sounded like he's really trying to stroke the shit out of this man. Look at my nigga Genty right now. My nigga Genty is like, hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Easy money. No, no, no. He said, it. He said how confident. I, I'm, this, you already see my confidence. Hey, pretty boy's not easy. scared to fight that anyone, bro. Still, that's confidence <laughs> enough. That's confidence enough. I'm in silk. This reggae singer thing you gonna let beat me up? A reggae singer or whatever type of singer he is? Bro, you just like swarms. He ain't about to do nothing. nothing. All I would say is, I know that you've had five pro fights, and I know I've never had one. The fact I'm getting into the ring with you when I don't have to means that either I am an idiot and about to make myself look like a dickhead, or you are in for so much trouble and you are completely underprepared. You know, you know, you remind me. Damn, he, he could have set himself up for like a crazy joke right there. I feel like he missed. We have that one person who said the same exact thing. Was Fury, Tommy Fury said the same exact thing. And he what had Tommy Fury said that he's fight. not a pro boxer. You know, you're a joke. Slim's a joke. Only person I give props to actually fighting me was Ryan Taylor. The man stepped up. Everybody denied me. In the social media game, bro. I had to beg for a fight. I had to beg Mams every damn fucking week to fight. You no should one probably take Ryan out your mouth. No one wanted to fight. But I <laughs> applaud you for stepping in the ring with a beast. You know I'm, I'm the best fighter on this card right now. You know that. God damn. God damn. I'm the, the best, most experienced why, why, fighter. Why, why, yeah, you're the most experienced. I, what? You're 6'5". Nah, you're heavyweight. Look at that. 
Now the excuses come out, baby. Now the excuses come out, man. Why would I fight? Why would I fight a heavyweight? No, no. Why would I fight? I don't even walk around at heavyweight. Nah, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. But I, need, I, need, I, need. I barely even I need. walk around at 180. Why am I even nah, but that Anthony, Anthony, forget that, forget that, because you're fighting me. So my point is, my point is, right, if you're the best fighter on this card, and you're so confident that you're going to knock me out, and you're the professional, so, yeah, so when I knock you out... Let me finish, let me finish, go, let me finish. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you're the professional, you're the best one here. If I beat you, I want you to tell all these people you will stop calling out influencers and musicians. Yeah, tell them. Tell the people that's what you If was the fifth, if my mama had a beard, she'd be my mama and my daddy. You're not confident, bro. You're not confident. You're not sure. I'm not understanding these, like, the way he's responding to stuff is crazy. I'm flabbergasted. If, if is a big F. You're not sure of yourself. You're just a troll. You're a reggae singer, bro. If it does happen, will you do it? What? The what? That's what he's asking. If he beats me, what? So Will you stop calling out influencers and musicians? Go back to pro fighting. Bro, I can, I'm going to do whatever I want, bro. I'm going to beat you. That's how I know you're do not it. You don't even I'm believe in yourself. Damn, he did. That was crazy. Hey, Reggie, you was on point with that one because, yo, this nigga is wild. He ain't talking out his ass. Coming out to hurt you. Facts. Right, you're man. not even confident. You're not confident. Bro, I'm you got little T-Rex arms. How are you going to hit me? I'm going to knock you out. There it is, I'm gentlemen. Knock you out. We will find out Saturday oh, okay, so on Anthony the Taylor zone. Pussy. That's yeah, what give we it up for him, man. Gotcha. Give it up. Right. Anthony Taylor Pussy. That's easy. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to our third fight on the card. The two lovely ladies, Keely and Astrid Wet. Keely, let's start with you. Um... There's already been some beef kicking off between the two of you. To start this week, uh, you both saw each other at the media workouts yesterday. Got to take a look at each other's skill, technique. What do you see in Astrid Wet when you're stepping in on Saturday? Um, to be honest, not much. But then I suppose, you know, I'm not professional either. She's been training longer than me. Um, I still think that I'm going to be able to beat her. I've got much more power than her. God, dude, I hate when people sound so pussy, man. Oh, I hate it. Like, it's like they give people so much. Like, no, I'm stepping in the ring with you because you're a bum. I think you're a bitch. I don't care how many fights you've been in. I don't care how much fucking... I don't care about any of that. You're, you're getting knocked the fuck out. I'm not giving up nothing. Fuck her, all the shit she's done. Fuck her and her goddamn professional fight. Fuck her and her goddamn extra training she's had. I'm stepping in her. I don't even. I don't even care. I don't even understand why people mention that shit. Talk about it. Say you gonna beat the shit out of her, Keely. Say you gonna smack her around like a little doll, dog. Come on, man. Uh, yeah. Astrid, you saw her yesterday. What do you see out of the technique? Do you think you're gonna have a hard time in there? Is this an easy night on Saturday? Um, I don't Say think what it's going to be technique? difficult at all. Say yeah, what in technique? In all honesty, I'm going to focus on myself. I've been Tell training hard for technique. this. I've prepared. Oh. Again, like you said, we're not professional boxers. Oh. She's a TikToker. I'm a porn star. It's not going to be... Stop. I'm a, she's a porn star? Oh, so she just not, she not just posting titties? She taking dick on OnlyFans chat? No way. Like, big shits? Come on, man. If she's taking like 10 inch cocks on OnlyFans, she better, she better be able to knock somebody out, right? Like, no way. If that dick's not knocking her out, she's not getting knocked out by Keely, right? Come on, bro. I'm definitely going to the hub. What? Anthony Joshua versus Fury, but I don't think it's going to be difficult at all. I'm going to, I'm going to get the win. Keely, is this a, a fight more personal because of, of family here? Is this, is this something that you've taken on because of, you know, your dad and, and the, the beef between, uh, him, Astrid, the whole thing is, is her dad got beef with a porn star? What is going on right now, chat? I'm confused. What did her dad do? Does this feel more personal to you? Um, I suppose it is a little bit more personal, yeah, but at the same time I kind of wanted to prove to myself that I They used to date Chat! What are y'all talking about right now? Could do something what different. Are talking I've about always right struggled now? like That's her mom's? Keely about to fight her moms in the ring chat? This is crazy. You know, mentally, and I wanted to kind of have some motivation to, you know, get back fit again like I used to and just do something different, take my mind off everything. But it definitely is personal after, you know, she chats shit about my dad, but yeah. Old man needs water. Astrid, uh, when you hear that, 
You know, she said you're talking some trash. That's crazy. Yo, nah, nah, no cap. I'm, I'm not respecting my nigga if you don't bring that up. If y'all are telling me this right now, my nigga Wade doesn't bring up a hey, list. Oh, well, I technically he did. He did bring it up because he did say a dad drama. But yeah, he got to figure this out. We got to. I, I need him to get deeper into this. I need to be like Astrid. So are you going to fucking nighty night this little shorty? You know what I'm saying? Like you used to back in the day when you were dating her dad. Are you going to read her a bedtime story in the ring? What do you think is going to happen? She doesn't appreciate that. <laughs> Talk to what, me. Um, <laughs> what goes through your mind at this fight? Is this something that you're seeing as personal or is this just... Talk. Stop being rude, bro. Pussy on. Quiet. Sorry about that. This guy just... Pussy on. We're good. We're good. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Sorry. it. Astrid, is this more personal or business to you? Um, I, it's half and half, really. Keely asked for a fight, whatever reason she has. You know, I don't really give a shit about Simple Simon, but... um. Yeah, it's, it's business as well. I feel really lucky. That's and why you really call him a creep on nearly every interview. Because he is a creep. Him. He the fight's between me and you, Astrid. Why are you still going on about I'm that? answering the question. Bro, because you just asked. Oh, my God. Keely's hit her feelings. Oh, Keely just wants to be loved. Oh, my God. This is going to be hilarious. Oh, this is sad. Why do we have to see this? I'm hurt from you, Keely. Oh my god, it's the mother-daughter relationship, and we just never knew we were going to see this. This is crazy. This is crazy. I thought we were going to see Kim K, okay, beating the shit out of her moms before we saw this. This is crazy. Question. Well, I know that, but I'm talking about the other interviews yesterday. All you do is talk about him, and now you're saying you don't care about him. You obviously do. I couldn't give a shit about you. You know he wanted, to be, he wanted me to be your stepmom at one point. Oh, shit! Oh, my god! So just your mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm here. I feel privileged to be on this card. <laughs> I feel privileged to be on this card. Uh, so yeah, I'm very lucky. Thank you for having me. And yeah, I'm just excited to show everybody what I can do. Keely, you hear that response? What? Oh my God! You just sunder. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. What do you have to do to go in and get this win on Saturday? God, I'm sorry. Oh. What do you have to do to go in and get this win oh, on look Saturday? At, look at my nigga Kali, bro. Um, I don't know. Just, I guess, go for everything that I've been taught in the amount of time that I've had. Somebody and that's it. all I can really do. You know, I haven't had as long as her. Um, but I still feel confident. And I guess we're just going to find out what's going to happen soon. Astrid, we'll finish here with you. How do you get this fight done? Are you looking at a knockout here? Are you looking to prove a point and make sure that not only you get this win, but maybe even continue in this crossover boxing scene? Oh. Yeah, I don't want to say, I don't want to be, you know. She just want to knock her daughter out and keep going. Like, it could happen, but I definitely think I'm going to win. Uh, but I'm just hoping that it leads on to bigger and better fights. You know, this one is just a little bit of a filler for me. Oh. Well, there it is, folks. Fight number three on this card. We're going to move on to fight number four in Jaden King and Tom Zanetti. And Jaden, you had something to say there a second ago uh, about Jayden Tom being an old man eating water. Could you just go ahead and elaborate on that? And how are you going to treat that old man Yo. on Saturday? First things first, drillings. Well, go on, everybody. Hi. Yeah, yeah. First thing, man's on the live stream. There's bad people at Yard watching. So if you're 19 plus... And you're a sexy length thing, slide into my DMs, innit? Fucking idiot. Second thing. Take it by the car, bro. Oh. How much clock did you have before the press conference, fam? I forgot it's different over there. I was like, 19 plus. That's still kind of crazy, though. A little cab. Like, sure, we can't even drink, but I forgot they can drink over there, right? <laughs> well, oh, hey, easy, easy. Hey, guys, guys. Relax, relax. Hey, back up. Who are all these dudes coming up behind over here? Looks what is like happening? Looks like someone's mad. Why? Uh, about Tom being an old man. Live stream. There's bad people at Yard watching. So if you're look 19 at him, look, at, look at this you're dude, a sexy bro. Thing, look, look at him. He just gets held. Look, Why did he yeah. stand up and he was just going to let himself get held down bro. like that? Watch How this. much talk did you have before the press conference, fam? Watch this. Well, oh, hey, easy, Why easy. did he stand up? Hey, guys, Look at this. Guys. He ran over there, and then he, this one guy, hey, back up. just dragged him back. This one guy. There was no reason for him to even do that. He shot a water pistol at him. 
He should have just took that joke, man. Everybody just calm down, relax, return to your seats, please. Please Come. return to your seats. Come on, Wade. Was my nigga... Was he just jerking? What is return he Return to your seats, please. Please return. Is he Fortnite emoting in front of the stage? All right, Turn bro. to your seat. All right, bro. He said, now skip to JMX. Out real quick. They fought again? Hey, yo. Do something about it. You'll do nothing. Let's keep it. Let's keep it in the fight, guys. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta watch this. Everybody, just calm down, relax, return to your seats, please. Please return to your seats. <laughs> Folks, return to your seats, please. Does he got a bowling jacket on? Oh damn. Wanna... oh damn! My boy stood at end the story. Okay, okay, I like that. Go ahead and let's everybody really quickly before we get back into everything. Hey, yo, you know, fellas, fellas, one second, one second. Hey, yo, you know man's realized, you know, it's cool. Man's gonna let that slide. Spray some water on me. I had your wife wet all night. Damn, he said he had a wife wet. Let's Folks, talk. first of all, you sound shit. Nobody likes your freaking song. They want you off your own song. I can make a better song on your song tonight. Tonight, fam. Are we here to make music or are we here tonight. to on? <laughs> no, it don't worry. Anything I want to do, I'll do it better than you because you're a pussy, yo. You come here trying to be Conor McGregor. Bro, the only thing you guys have in common is I you sniff coke before fight. I do it all for you. Uh, that's the only oh thing. You look like you're taking for, for breakfast. We Folks, should. really quickly, I, I want to say one no. second, guys. Let's she just can. go ahead and uh, give security Dickhead. a round of applause for getting up here and helping us out real quick. <laughs> So apologies for those watching at home. Uh, let's keep it professional on stage. Yeah, have you seen this? Let me tell you something, yeah? This guy has got zero intelligence. See how he goes to like the low blows? He was talking about my son on Instagram saying he's going to punch my son. He's a dickhead. Do something about it. You'll do nothing. Let's keep it. This nigga talking about punching kids? On What is going on, bro? That's kind of crazy. Let's keep it in the fight, guys. Guys, 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 guys. guys. Let's go ahead and uh, move on with that. Let's. What the heck? How is this free? How is this event free? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Um, Tom Zanetti, Jaden King, everybody. Let's go ahead and uh It seemed like the security want to get in the ring. Boy, need a shade. Boy, better shut up and back up. Hey, go handle them niggas. You feel me? Everybody else chilling. Don't come over here arguing with the uh with the actual people putting the event on, nigga. We pay your check. Do your job, pussy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to fight number five. Fight number five on our card, folks. Genty versus JMX, guys. I know you've just been in the middle of a, of a rocket situation there. Genty, we'll start with you. Um, you're coming into this. You're coming into this fight with JMX. Oh, I realize what he was saying now. I realize what he was saying now. They decided, why did they decide to bring him back on stage? That's just stupid. Okay, I, I would be pissed too. I understand him being pissed. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even see that he had brought them back on like that. I thought they were still off. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's... 
that's disrespectful to security right there because you already know it's just gonna start more shit and they're, they're you're putting their lives in danger now at this point that's kind of tragic no cap a guy that is coming back after Wait. four years tom just give me one second bud Coming into the scene after four years off, but you have heard that JMX is one of the guys here that is possibly one of the better in this scene. How are you feeling about this fight on Saturday and what motivates you to come in? This nigga, first of all, this nigga JMX is a fucking, looks like a goddamn cutout of an old soldier catalog from back in the day. This nigga was definitely on Top Gun. Look at this nigga, bro. I'm not getting in the ring with this nigga. What are they talking about right now? This nigga's literally 6'12", all right? like. Who, they got this geeky looking nigga fighting him? This nigga's name is Genty. What is happening? It's the Peaky Blinder versus this other nigga. I'm so confused right now. I'm in and fight this guy when a lot of people aren't. Look at this nigga. Um, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, this no, this is a big fight. I went like from potentially fighting Luke Bennett. Get out. It's an L5 JMX. What is going on? Um, no, yeah, this is a serious fight. Um, I've taken it on two weeks notice, but we've trained hard. I've done... Oh my god, why does everybody bring that up? Nigga, you signed the contract. I don't give a fuck how many weeks. You could have signed that shit one week ago, nigga, one day ago. You chose that shit, which means you felt confident enough to get in the ring. Tell me that shit. Come out here and say, hey, no matter what, I don't give a shit. This ain't even about to be a hard fight. I'm about to beat his ass. That's why I signed up for it. You feel me? Say that shit. Niggas be sounding soft. Oh, I only I did only have two weeks, so if I lose, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Cause but you know, I'm trying to take it seriously. No, nigga, come out there. Hold your fucking nuts. Why is he talking like a bitch? With what I can. This is crazy. I mean, I had two weeks, so I I'm gonna do what I can. I've done what I can in oh those two weeks. Oh my and, god! Yeah, so. He don't sound prepared at all! JMX, the people are happy to see you back, man. Four you? years How later. What's doing? up, Joe? I'm good, man. I'm good. Talk Niggas to me about your opponent. Hoes, uh, late bro. notice, right? Two weeks, but you're back. Tell the people uh, what you're planning to do on Saturday. Um, yeah, I'm going to knock him the fuck out. Uh, I might be, be a skinny fat body first. I haven't decided that yet. Um, exactly, yeah, it's, it's a bit of like, stepping stone. I am these niggas are seriously. signing up for like, fights and then getting out of the press conference and crying. Sex in three months, but that's not by choice. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm fucking ready, and I think there's lots of big fights to go beyond this as well. So I'm excited to get back in there. I'm twice as good as I was last time. I've got both arms now, which is incredibly helpful, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gas. Gents, you hear he's he's God, he's how he's scary shit of this nigga, man. I, I I tell my bitch you can't come to the fight. Like you can't see this nigga do this to me in the ring. You see you 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 listening to how scared I sound at the press conference. Please, I wouldn't even let my mom come because she probably gonna get horny. God, just don't nobody show up, man. Don't nobody show up. He says he's gonna knock you out. It's gonna be easy work, and he's gonna move on. You're a stepping stone. What do you have? Italy. I didn't from Italy. Waggy waggy. What up, baby? Hey, shouts out to you, big dog. I love you, man. I need to get, take a trip out there. No cap. <laughs> Always been a pasta guy. Uh, listen, respect. Love you, baby. Thank you for joining me. I have to say to all of that. Well, of course, he's not going to say he's going to win by split decision, is he? Um, uh, um, of course, you know what I mean? Um, he's not going to say he's going to win on points. But it is what it is. You just, you know what I mean? It's a fight. I'm going to win by knockout as well. Well, I've got knockout power, do you know what I mean? So I've improved a lot since my last fight. I'm not just going to be throwing like how I threw last time. So I've worked on my power and yeah. It's oh, I feel so sad if Keely was the one supporting me. Oh, they're both about to get sunned in that shit, bro. Oh, we about to be fucked up for this. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be a good card, man. This it's not going to go down card. to points and I'm going to aim to knock him out. JMX, he said he has knockout power. You made a face like you just smelled sour milk. What are you saying? Uh, uh, I mean, unless he's developed that knockout power in the last three months, then I don't think so. Um, he can't punch properly yet, so um, normally helps. Uh, but no, I, I, I doubt it. God, JMX last come one. on! You see how JMX got his dick on his shoulders? That's what I'm saying, man. I gotta come out and be a man, bro. You can't respect these niggas, bro. You can't have no respect for these bums. Um, let's say you do get in there and, and get this fight done on hey, Saturday. Hey, thanks. We go check it out and, after and this. And really for Genty too. What's next? Who would you like to see next in there? Do you have a name or 
just continuing to, to try to get back into this scene? Is that something you're looking at? Yeah, 100%. I want to go January. January is happening. Faze Kemper, Dr. Mike, who is, whoever's out there. There's some big fights there. I want to take them on. Wade, you Temper is out of there. Yeah, we, we could definitely make that happen. Yeah. Um, so, no, I think there's lots of big fights out there. I'm excited to show what I can do. Um, as I said, I've got a lot better. I've had a good camp. And, yeah, I'm just excited, really. There it is. Temper is boring. Fight we need comedy. number five, Genty versus JMX. And we're moving on to fight six. And I'm going to go ahead and let everyone know now. Security, guys, just stand by because this one is heated. We have two guys that have had a rivalry now for a while and finally getting it done in the ring, not in hotels, not in other places. I'm talking Ryan Taylor versus Slim. Ryan, Slimmy boy! I was just going to come to you, Ryan. Go ahead and start us off, man. How are you feeling? Two days away. I feel a lot better today. I'm cutting his weight. You know, I've had to come down a lot of weight to fight this little skinny fucking snitch rat fucking ugly bastard. But I'm here, it. We're here now. You know, we got we got a new misfit in the show, Tom Zanetti, absolute one. This is what the fuck I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! You gotta come out! No respect for these niggas, man! This is what I be telling y'all, bro. This how you would this how you this how you gotta come. This how you gotta come, bro. You signed up, fuck it. You lose and lose. It is what it is, but you gotta come out strapped up, ready to go. This is how my nigga Ryan come in. I'm respecting this. I know my nigga my nigga Slim coming the same way. So we gonna see, we gonna see. He got the C hat on for come. You already know what it is. Warrior, absolute animal. And I'm telling you now, hey, TZ, boy, you can't play games in it. Two people, two people. Uh, Folks, we apologize, anything, apologize for the language. TZ, TZ and uh, Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor, bro, are two people that should have been paid hey, okay, down on this card, bro. Respect, Birmingham, I'm from Birmingham, you're respecting this dickhead. Show some respect, man. I want all the belts in Birmingham. I'm from why, what respect do you need? Shut up. The other niggas are talking right now. Also, but the niggas on the main cards are talking right now. Who's belt that? What's that? Slim's belt? Yo, burn him here. Guys. No! <laughs> they didn't take the water gun? They didn't take the water. Okay, they just want this shit to happen. Okay, okay, okay. So this is an act. I like it. I like it. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. You gotta make money some kind of way, you know? Gotta get the kids watching. Do what they gotta do. Still some hoe shit. It is. I don't respect it. It is what it is. Hey guys. Uh, but yeah, man. Hey. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a good fight, bro. But as a. Guys, let's cool wait, wait, off. We let's can cool keep off. Talking. There's no problem. But if this is a real misfits event. It is. Why has he got water? Cool wait, off. Wait, let's cool. He's, they, he let him spray him that much about the. <laughs> He let him wet him up. Look how he's looking. Look how he's looking right now. Sad. Sad. They letting him go out sad right now. This is crazy. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, man. That's crazy. Keep cool talking. That's There's no crazy. problem. But it, this is a real Misfits event. Yeah, it is. Man. This it is. is proper Misfits. It is. And, uh, you know, Mams and JJ put on an incredible event with this own Misfits. This is fucking massive. It's a really big event. You know, and we're going to... We're gonna we're gonna make a proper a proper battle in it. So yeah. I'm excited, well, again, folks, we apologize for the language and some of the antics here. We're trying to keep it professional, guys. If we can. Okay, I feel like the more Wade keeps saying that, it's gonna cut it down. Like Wade, shut up, bro. Like, shut up, bro. Like it, niggas is here to see some boxing. They if they heard a nigga say pussy, then they you gotta relax. You, we not keeping shit respectable out here. Okay, niggas is about to knock niggas heads off. Nothing about what's going on right now is respectable. Stop talking. And, uh, Slim, you've just seen all this go down. You hear RT say it is a Misfits event. Come You're on, sitting Slim. here with this belt. Come on, Slim. Four knockouts, four fights. And now Ryan Taylor, the man you've had your eyes on is he since. scared? Well, the beef started. Talk to me about what it means to finally get him in Chad, that ring. Is he scared? Uh. Chad, is he scared? This, this fight is very personal to me, guys, you know. Um, back in June, I was supposed to face this individual on a much smaller card, you know. And um, after what he did to me, you know, my, imagine my family saw what he did to me, you know. And, my, uh, and after, my last, wait, after my last knockout, you know, like, my, I'm already on, 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 everybody's putting me at pound for pound, top three YouTube boxers. I don't need to do this fight, you know. I don't. My parents tell me, why are you, why, why are you fighting this guy? And that's what I told them. I told them, he, you saw what he did to me. So on Saturday night, you're going to kick back, relax, and you're going to watch me beat the fuck out of him. And you're going to enjoy it. 
So, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, one thing about Ryan Taylor, I knew him since I was, I knew him since 2016. And he was never like this. He was never like this tough guy. He was actually a nice guy. He was a nice kid. You can see in the vlogs, like he was those type of dudes that will do anything for a YouTube shout out. Like he'll do anything to step into to the YouTube world. And I would shout him out. I'll post him on Instagram, do all this shit. But uh, I, I did my homework on him, you know? I did my homework on him. I wanted to realize like, why did this guy like change his whole lifestyle around trying to become this road man, but you know So in all actuality, this shit just means the world to this nigga. He's getting emotional as fuck about this. Slim might really hurt this man. This might be crazy. Well, I got, I, I got a little presentation for you guys right now. Well, you, yeah. I'm gonna show y'all why. Oh, we got props. Oh, oh geez. Oh, what's he got? All right, so uh, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. You guys recognize this individual right here? Wait, can you tell me who this is? Uh, I don't know. I guess that's RT. Ryan, do you, know, you know who that is? Of course I do, bro. Man, I started printing off pictures. Go on. That's AJ. This guy is named AJ. And uh, Ryan ran into him into a skate park, like, back in the day. And this was a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know, Ryan, he had no goons. Ryan had no goons back in the day. And a one-on-one -on -one fight, I never backed down from a fight. One-on-one, -on -one, I never. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've been scrapping my whole life, man. I got scars all over my face and everything. One-on-one, -on -one, I never backed down. But when Ryan had a one-on-one -on -one fight, this is on YouTube. You can look it up. Ryan Taylor versus AJ. When he had his one-on-one -on -one fight, look how it ended. You got a full-on presentation here. Ryan printed up all of them. Can you recognize what's going on in the picture, Wade? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it looks like scrap's gone down. Ryan might not be getting the best of it. Yeah. Can I see? Can I see it right here? Look. I can see everything. Ryan Taylor bro. versus AJ. Y'all can Google that. It's on YouTube. Ryan gets fucked up in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Slip that's the reason. Slip. That's the reason. That's the reason he don't, he don't fight fair because he can't fight in a one-on-one -on -one fight. He don't fight one-on-one. -on -one. So imagine this. Yo, listen to this. Listen to this. My last fight, I fought against Face Temper. Face Temper, when he got announced on the zone, this guy wasn't even cool with Face Temper. They were not even cool. This nigga, this nigga Jay is like, all right, bro, listen, I'm here for this, but you got to stop slapping me in the face with this poster. Like, you got to. They became cool out of the hatred out of That's me. That's a lie. Which is weird as fuck. No, no, it's not but you know what? This guy was going around commenting every post. <laughs> this nigga Jay's like, Slim are you knocked out in slow motion. I can't wait to see Slim get knocked out in slow motion. Every fucking post. This guy's on my dick. Like, literally, he's on my dick. Apologies but you know what? once again, guys. Get, apologies. So, I'm sorry. Don't sue me the zone, please. But listen, after I knocked this boy the fuck out, yeah. look at this is a reaction. Bro, stop Birmingham represent. Ryan Taylor's reaction to me not knocking hey, out hey, his boy. Hey, can't see it. Can't see it. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and finish up, Slim. Finish up. Here. Presentation real quick. I'm trying to get an A plus. AT, AT, relax, relax for me, Anthony, relax for me, please. I'm trying to get an A plus for the project, alone. okay? Wait, what's an A plus? The girl alone would take it. I still haven't. Ah, I really can't wait to see these niggas, like, embarrass themselves on the, at the actual event. Like, that's what I want to see. Like, if Anthony, Anthony Taylor better get a knockout first round, this nigga Jaden King, he better get a knockout first round. Like, first, like, 30 seconds. First 30 seconds, he better be just busting niggas' cheeks. Pause. Okay, or I like I don't even want to ever hear these niggas speak again. It's crazy. I've seen the picture. All right, guys, guys, let's come down. All right, let's so after I knocked this boy out, before oh before God. I walked out, he came, he went up to my my cameraman. He was like, "Your boy Sims gonna get knocked the fuck out." So after I knocked out his boy, this was his reaction. Right. Ryan, I need I need hold, really hold quickly. Up. Slim, hold it up. Wait, wait. I see that. I see that. Hold, hold the picture hold, hold up, Slim. Up. You actually know what that reaction was? I was like, yo, fair play. He actually did it. Yeah. I didn't expect it. It wasn't that I was scared. Look. How could I be scared of you, bro? Ryan, give me... No, give no, me... no. That was... I, was, I said the fair face play, of bro. I said cool, innit? That's the face of, of someone that's about to get knocked the fuck out in a few nights. I promise you guys. I promise. I'm, I'm made of my word. Four fights, four knockouts. This man's getting knocked the fuck out. No one believes you're going to win this fight. Not even your boy, no Charlie one. Sloth. No one. Charlie Sloth was in New York City. No my boys one. went up to him saying, Brian, go get knocked the fuck out. And he said he agreed. No He agreed. One. Your boy, Charlie that Sloth, said That's, He was in New York, right? He yeah. was in New York the other day. Where is the video? Your boy, Charlie Sloth, said happen. he was going to get knocked the well, fuck listen out. listen here, fellas. I promise that's going to happen. Huh? I promise. We will keep it professional. I'm not going to push him. I'm not going to touch him. I'm not going to do shit. Because you know why? I'm f I know what I'm fucking going to do to him. I promise y'all. I promise y'all, well, every single person in this room, what I'm going to do to you this guy on Saturday Because what happens if I'm you don't? humiliate him. What happens if no, you don't? No, it's not whatever. It's not, no, I promise. How about this, fellas, fellas?
I'm not gonna lie, I really thought a lot more was gonna come from that presentation, but he's still he's still wearing his dick on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? He ain't respecting this nigga. I respect it. I like it. I like it. That nigga, hey, it is what it is. We gonna see what happens. I don't know anything about Ryan Taylor, okay, at all. But Ryan Taylor came out saying he was gonna do the same thing. Said it was gonna be a knockout. It is what it is. We gonna see what happens. Fellas, fellas, how about, fellas, what how about this? If you don't? We'll find out Saturday. We will absolutely find out. Co-main event. Get those tickets while they last. But we. What I don't understand about tickets. Isn't it free to watch? I'm so confused. All you have to do is have a Dazzin subscription, right? Still got one fight. I know it's been a roller coaster since we got on stage, but we got one fight left. Our main event, Churdley's Two Glasses Man. Yeah! Versus Jay Swingler. Churdley's, I'll start with you, man. You, uh, oh, okay, okay. It's the first time I've seen you this week. You're looking a what? little thinner. Sorry, looking, what? I said you're looking a little thinner. Yeah, I got food poisoning. I think it was Jay. Yeah, I'm oh, no. spiked you, bro. Yeah. I didn't bring any pictures or squirt guns, but I brought 101% of full alpha wolf energy ah! there it is jay he's got alpha wolf energy you've been training for it yeah. what are you what are you seeing out of look him, at him look at that fucking fringe bro man looks like jeffrey Dahmer. i know i know you got like jeffrey Dahmer. i know you got six pairs of ankles in your fridge at home bro what uh, you got like six pairs of ankles in your fridge at home bro <laughs> look like a serial killer the world will never know you still got your food and your mustache is off from about two days ago. Yeah, I'm looking good. My guy. I've been curling it every day. Jay, in all seriousness, you know, we, we haven't seen I'm a lot of it. You really don't know. I got pent up yeah. aggression. Everyone's saying they've only been like two weeks without sex. I've been my whole life without <laughs> sex. I'm the first. <laughs> there it the is. Virgin. <laughs> there it is. I've been my whole life without pussy. <laughs> well, listen, Jay, it's, a, it's a man on a mission, right? He's a man on a mission, Jay. So how do you stop that mission on Saturday? In all seriousness, how do you put away a man that you really haven't seen a lot out of? You say it all seriousness, but I can't look, look at <laughs> You already know where we're right, going to be. I can't wait to watch this. Um, this is going to be fun. I've just got to put, put it into practice. What I've been training, I've just got to put it into practice. The guy's getting beaten. I'm taking it seriously. I hope you've been taking it seriously. Oh, I'm taking it. It's I'm, not I'm here. Guards, bro. I flew all the way here for this. I'm taking it very seriously. I'm even down to go five rounds. I feel like I feel like he took the opportunity because he knows he thinks I'm a step in the ladder. But when he realizes that step is broken and it crumbles beneath you, bro, I, I just thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to just level me up. I'm going to get back up there, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to use you to get myself back up, so thank you. Yeah. If I knock you out, it was No, I ain't happening. I ain't happening, bro. I ain't happening. And if you knock ain't me out, it's, I ain't all it's all just an act. Uh-huh. I'll tell you right now, bro, like, there is literally no way Jay can lose this fight. Like, there is no, like, if Jay loses this fight, I mean, it could, it would be funny, because I know Ramel and them would make a, the funniest video ever bro like it would be jokes if he lost but i i bro there's no way he could lose this fight like going against this dude bro jay being jay like bro there's no way this this little dude is about to come step face to face i can't even believe it like this is almost like this is like ksi versus panetta right here this <laughs> is a joke okay okay so, okay surely the first troll that. boxer yeah yeah okay yeah. okay okay Churdley, little, let's, let's say kid gave me ten dollars to to lose there you go surely let's say you do go in there and, and knock jay out or you you win this fight do yeah. you want to continue on, in this crossover boxing scene and if so who would be someone you want to continue and go in against next uh who's next yeah Conor McGregor. Okay. There it is. I got the same I got the same wound as him. I got this. Okay. We went to the same hospital and everything. So shout I out call Cedars, you out. Cedars in the in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Jay, same question to you. Listen, we have KSI on stage right now. There was some chat in uh, a recent video about possibly, you know, you win this fight, maybe Deji being a fight for you. Are there names out there? Should you get this fight done that you want to go and see next? Yeah, there's plenty of names out there. I mean, like, Deji would be a great fight. Um, I Love think um, whatever makes sense, makes sense. Let's do it. Um, this fight for me with Churdley's is kind of like 
JJ's last fight was is getting rid of the ring rust. I've not been in the ring for four years, so I guess for me, I'm going to walk through Churdlis and then whatever, whatever happens after that happens, I'll take on anybody, man. I've got the confidence and I've got the ability. I know I can outwork anybody, so Come I'm on, down, Jay! Man. Charlie's give me a last prediction here. How do no you get this fight done? No disrespect, but Deji beats Jay what? easily. How do you win this fight on Saturday? See? I think Jay got the I dog in. I don't think Deji got is a dog yet. Yep. I still don't see him get a dog. Me. Still going with the split yeah, decision. Still okay. That, still yeah. going there. Split I decision. thought maybe if I gave you a week. Uh, Jay. <laughs> split decision. <laughs> I don't know me. who predicts split decisions, but there you go. Jay, uh, how do you get this done on Saturday, man? Um, I still think max two rounds. I think it's going to be first round knockout, though. I don't see it going past two rounds. Um, I, I asked him earlier which rib he wants me to break. He didn't tell me, so it's up to him. It's up to him. I'll Come ask on, him Jay! as the bell goes. I'll ask him. I'll, you can point it out, bro, and I'll do the one that you want me to. Yeah, you're so hot, Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Like, there it is, folks. Thank Jay, you, man. Jay is hot. Charlie's is hot. This card wait, is hot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, go ahead, Kelly. At this stage, I have to ask a question. In 27 years of promoting boxing, I've never heard a prediction of a split decision. <laughs> so could you just start? That was I want to hear the Alpha Wolfman explanation of a, how, like, how'd you go on the split decision? You're gonna give up a round and then when you have a two? Because <laughs> the Alpha likes to fight. The Alpha doesn't just choose. So you're gonna oh. let him hit you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just not my stomach or I'll throw up. I had food you poisoning the other day. You hear a new tactic every day. That is fantastic. I've got to say, prediction of the day, split decision. Get good odds on that. Bloody hell. Thank that's, you. Uh, <laughs> there it is. All my friends bet against me. So if I lose, then we're rich. <laughs> well, I don't care. There it is. Uh, <laughs> at this point, at this point, we're rich. Overbroke with all my money. At this point, I would like to point out that that was a joke, and there is absolutely uh, no uh, foul play in the room here. Yeah? Not There's, at all. Uh, Not at all. Contracts, and that's it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my prediction for this card is that it is that nigga, must. That nigga got scared. He was like, "Wait, hold on, you can't be talking like that, bro." CTV on the zone live this Saturday night. Tickets still on sale. Get those while they last. Misfits and the zone series 002. We're gonna go back to Addy at the front desk. So that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I think that's dope, man. My predictions go, I mean, as followed pretty much, bro. I think that uh, Jay got the, I think Jay's getting the dub on here, bro. I think that nigga Slim's getting the dub. It is what it is on that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm really hoping my nigga DTG gets the dub. I'm really hoping this nigga right here gets the dub. You know what I'm saying? I really want to see Astrid sudden this bitch, but low key at the same time, I want to see like the underdogs prevail. And to see these two niggas come out on top over this sexy beast and this other, like, I hate seeing sexy people win. You know what I'm saying? I hate it. It's fucking sickening. You know what I mean? I really hope this nigga right here destroys Anthony Taylor. I hope he gets dogged. So it is what it is. We're going to see how it goes, man. I love y'all. See y'all in the Discord, fam. See y'all in the Discord, fam.